In this episode of E-Arms TV, we'll be out hunting in the Fort Beaufort area of the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Today I'm planning on helping one of the local farmers with an Egyptian goose problem. I'll be doing this all with my new Air Arms S510 TDR. This time on Air Arms TV, I'm out in the bush felt of the Eastern Cape. The farmer has asked me to come out and help take out a few of the geese, which seem to be full up in this area. These geese are causing havoc in the farmlands and also have a potential to spread deadly diseases. Well, really looking forward to this hunt today. They've told me that there is a lot of geese in this area. So we're going to do our best. These birds are extremely challenging to hunt. So hopefully we come right. Let's do our best, see if we can get some of those geese. The Egyptian goose is native to Africa, south of the Sahara and Nile Valley. Egyptian geese were considered sacred by the ancient Egyptians and appear in many of their artworks, thus gaining the name the Egyptian goose. I'm feeling super positive about today's hunt. I just know that this place is completely overpopulated with these geese. Can you hear? Can you hear the geese? The dam's just here. Yep, we're gonna find them here, I'm telling you. Yo, that's the dam. Yo, yo, there they are. Yo, check. Yeah, there's a whole flock, eh? The rule of thumb about geese hunting is that if you can even minusculely through the trees see the geese, they can see you. Their eyesight is absolutely phenomenal. So, you just gotta know that when you can see them, they're probably seeing you. Have a look at that flock, that is awesome. But it's far too open, yeah, we're gonna have to move back around and get more cover, so let's go. go. Having a chance on a flock like this is great, but I have to maintain cover in order to get close to increase my odds in getting a good shooting window. Oh, there's a nice flock. Yeah, there's a few on the left. Some on the right there. Yeah, this is a nice flock. But we need cover, we're gonna use this thistles and then that nice big tree stump for cover. So, see if we can get closer for the shot. Let's go. I have to get closer to close the distance for a safer shot. Let's check here, let's check. We should be right here. Take a shot, I'm gonna take a shot off the log, yeah? Right, it's gonna be quick, eh? Right, just move slow. My goodness, I think the wind is blowing a lot harder than I thought. So my pellet drifted a little bit more than I was planning for, but now the goose down, so let's go check him out. Well, once again, we've got a trusty bird retrieving device over here, and you would have seen in previous episodes, it worked really well, it saved me a long, cold swim. So hopefully, today it's gonna do the same. Let's give it a go. There we go, got him. Ah, oh, nice. Best shot. 
All right, look at that. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. Look at how beautiful this Egyptian goose is. What an awesome way to start the day. Look at that. Man, that is cool. Oh, magnificent birds, I tell you. And tough as nails. You have to make the perfect shot. What an awesome way to start the day. And what a challenging bird to hunt. We managed to put in an awesome stalk there. And hopefully the rest of the day goes like this, I tell you. There's a lot of birds here. Come, let's see if we can get a couple more. First one down for the day and there's still a lot of hunting to come. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna get onto next. Shot super hard. 140. Yeah, no. That's too far. We're gonna make up at least 60 yards. I don't want to take long shots on this kind of wind. So alright, let's see if we can get to these reeds around the edge into that spit. And then we can make the shot happen. Let's do it. These birds have the most incredible eyesight, so maintaining full cover is absolutely critical. Some stalk. We had such good cover all the way that they had no idea we were here. Oh, and headshot straight down. Man, I love that. Let's go see if we can find them. Let's go check them. All right, he should be just over here if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this time I think it looked like he was quite close. Did, oh, here he is. Have a look. Right over here on the edge. <laughs> That's great. No, fantastic. Just get my half pull down. Yeah, this stick is going to be pretty good. I think it's going to reach it just fine. Let's see. Yo, that's fine. There we go. Yeah. Nice and easy. Look at that. Yo, very nice. And have a look at that shot. Oh, lovely headshot. You can see it just went straight down. That's exactly how you want to take them. That's great. Have a look at that. Oh, man. Very wet, but yeah, we had to wait a while for him to drift over to this spot over here. But look at that, another big Egyptian goose. That is fantastic. Yeah, right here, headshot. Straight to the brain, quick expiry. Very, very nice. But uh, let's not spend too much time. Let's keep on going. We're going to move over this little rise here. There's a couple dams a little bit further on. Hopefully we can get some more geese there, so let's do it. I'm really enjoying my new rifle. It has seriously impressed me so far and I just can't wait to see what else I can take with it. Alright, well it's that time of day. We're going to take a little bit of a rest in the shade and uh, get some more pellets. But let me tell you guys something. It has been a great day's hunting so far. We've got a good few geese down. And uh, you might have noticed that I'm using a new rifle. And I have been waiting for this rifle for a long time now. The Air Arms S510 TDR Take Down Rifle. And this time regulated. What I completely love about this rifle is the very easy to load side lever action that it has. Space for spare magazines over here. This here is an adjustable cheek plate, which uh, enables you to adjust it to your liking. It is an S510, so in and of itself, it's fantastic. As you can see now, the reason why it's called the takedown rifle, so if you have a look here, you know, just adjust this, take it off, and you're gonna see how quick and easy it is to take this rifle down. And there you have it, as easy as that. 
and it also comes with a super slick hard built carry case for safe travel so Air Arms have thought about it all for you guys and there you have it the beautiful S510 TDR and hopefully today we are going to shoot a lot more geese with it so and there you go back together and ready for hunting and let's hope we're going to get a whole lot more hunting in today I know there's a dam just a little bit further on down the road. Hopefully you're gonna see more geese there. So let's do it. Let's back up and let's get going. Now that I'm loaded up and ready for my next goose, I'm moving back to the water to see what I can find. The farmers told me about a special little cove full of these geese and hopefully we'll find some there. got my long pants on. In this area there are thorns, thistles, cactuses and it seems everything wants to stick me today. So hopefully it's going to help me be a little bit quieter in the bush. We're going to head on down the edge of this dam here, up over the wall and hopefully they won't see us and we'll be able to get the shot off. So let's see if we can do it. This bank will provide me with a perfect cover I have to stay low and move slow. Okay. Yes, the damn wall. The dam's just on the other side, so we're gonna have to do this real slow. And I'm just gonna sneak up over and see if we can just locate where they are. So let's do it. Let's try. Man, that was cool. Sure, that must have been about an 80 yard shot. I guesstimated at that point, I just didn't have time to range. There's so many birds here. And uh, they already sensed that something was up. So I had to take the shot straight down. Yes. All right, let's go again. All right, look at that. Man, another beautiful Egyptian goose. I tell you what, guys. This place is absolutely full of these beautiful birds here. And we've had an awesome time on this farm. And each lake has at least two or three pairs of these Egyptian geese. And I guess that's why the farmers asked us to come along and to help them out. We've had an absolute blast in this place. I think we're gonna call it a day. But man, what a great day's hunting. Right from the beginning, finding our first pair has been an incredible experience. Man, what a great day's hunting. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on AOMS TV.